you're probably asking yourself via your brain, your tongue, and the other parts of your mouth. Why exactly is this very good fella here on the internet continuum of life laughing so much at this flipping LP? Come along and I'll show you why. First off, this is the newest alb by the very good alb, The Putts. And the name of the alb? Rise and Shine. So, as we can see here, it's The Putts, Rise and Shine. On the front here, we have a motif of an orange juice bottle and a flipping glass. <laughs> You're probably asking yourself, is that all there is to this flipping sleeve? Is there no reverse? Well, let me stop you there. I'm going to correct you. There is a reverse to this sleeve. Let's take a look now that we've finished observing the obverse of the sleeve. So on the reverse here, we have the four columns of color, just like we had the four columns of color on the front, and the names of the songs. And as you can see here, we have seven tracks on side A and seven tracks on side B. That equals 12 tracks. That equals 14 tracks. And down here, Eccentric Pop Records 2020. That's the year what it came out on that. Um, and as we go into the front here, we can see that um, there's several reversals being happened. We have the title now at the top because it has turned. Let's delve inside. Ooh, more! There's more! There's all sorts in here! There's all sorts in here! So first off, mates, we have... Oh my gold! It's a little blooming poster for you to put up on your wall! <laughs> That's if you're lucky enough to have walls this Christmas! And here on this side of the printed colour insert, we have pictures of the band doing their funny bits. So, for example, here we have the drummer singing into something. And here we have pictures of the people from the band standing there doing something. There's all sorts going on on this picture. And that's just a, a microcosm of our lives in the world because we're all doing something at some point, even if we're not. And on this side, the words and that of the songs. Who gives a damn about the words? Except for people who give a damn about the songs. We have a uh, download code for people who want to listen to it through their ears on their special devices, like I do. Sometimes, maybe on my walk to work, or maybe on my way to meet and greet strangers, which is something that I often do. For example, I've never done it yet. And we have a plain white in a sleeve which is just typical of eccentric pop records in 2020 because I remember once when I was walking there and I happened to see and I got this it's tiny look and inside here we have the record what is red this came on a few different colour variations but this one is red which represents the red that we have in our lives um, rise and shine side B 33 rpm which is flipping typical of a record like this. Flipping typical. It has the song names on the label, which is a feature which I like. And on the other side, much the same. Much the same. Much the same. This is all the stuff here. It all equals to what's on it if you look and if you do some additions in your head. I'm going to have a listen to see if it's nice or if it's a load of old stink. What a lovely Putz album. One of the things I like so much about the Putz is how little they've changed over the years. You could just hear 10 seconds of a song and know it's the Putz. They have their own little sound amongst the pop punk world and it's a nice sound I can adhere to you. Um, I'm going to pop this away because around this time of year, I don't know if there's going to be snow falling down onto my record. And I'm not very happy when I get snow on my record. Uh, one of my friends, Murtash, 
he usually leaves the snow on his record because he says it makes it uh, smoother for the next time he gets it out. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Anyhow, going back to this record here, which is by the Putz and all that, um, should you check it out? You should definitely check it out. If you're new to the Putz, check it out. If you already like the Putz, then you know exactly what you're going to get from this this ditty, from this little number, from this uh, thing from the USA. Because the USA is the country what they live in. Um, have a nice Christmas. Don't forget to give kindly to parents, patients, um, propagandists, and perilous um, penguins, and proper uh, pencils. Enjoy, and say hello to your parents from me, if you must. Say hello to your neighbours from me, and say hello to at least two strangers a day, even if they look a little bit dodgy, even if you live somewhere like Detroit, or or some sort of backwater suburb where there's known to be a bit of violence and maybe a little bit of uh, incest and trouble trouble amongst the neighbours and the farmers and, and the local and tree people the, with the local tree people walking around in robes carrying staffs the tree people like in Flash Gordon and happy Christmas friends 12 out of many. so much for watching my very good video don't forget to subscribe to the very good channel and come back next week for another very